Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Today I'm out in the factory. I've been out here for about four hours. And what I've done in that time is I've built two uh, SS tubes. Uh, they're a little labor intensive. <clears throat> that and the uh, Super Camp. Now I want to end summary. I want to take just a minute to talk about the SS tubes. So just kick back and let me just beat my guns here. Okay, I don't build the Bongo Pro anymore, I don't build the M2SB, I don't build the M4, I don't build the M7. Because uh, this stove will do anything that will do, it's, it's, not, it's not that this is some revelation or anything, it's simply a, a snorkel stove uh, in that there's a tube inside so that when you let off your fuel bottle, uh, it pulls from the top of the snorkel so it can't get the alcohol down in the body. I lengthen the body so there's more volume. This will burn depending on your wick height, four to seven minutes, which is enough for most everything you're going to do within reason. You can refuel if you're going to do a long burn. Uh, if you're going to bake, you probably can get 10 minutes out of the fill. I'm not, I've measured it, but you don't use a lot of alcohol baking. So anyway, and if you don't want to change the length of the wick uh, from one to the other, you, you can leave it long and use a simmer ring, just drop it on and... Uh, That'll give you a simmer with a fairly long wick. This is like a three-quarter wick. Uh, this will do anything that the other, all the other wick stoves will do, and it's one stove. Comes in a carry case, comes with a super cap. Uh, what's not to like? Downside is it's expensive. It's 70 bucks. But uh, on the other hand, if this is the only stove you need, you'll never wear it out. If you ever wear it out, send it back to me, I'll replace it. If you just wear it, not if you run over it with a car, but if you actually wear it out, send it back. I'll replace it or I'll replace any part of it that wears out. You'll have it a lifetime. Uh, it's a, so for something like that, which is like a diamond wedding ring or something, uh, 20 bucks one way or the other is, so it's a one-time thing. It's, it's not really relevant. Price within reason is not really relevant on something of this quality is going to last this long. That's my thought train on it. Uh, at 70, not getting rich. I've, I've got the price way up here at 70 because, as like I said, I've been here four hours. I built two of them. You know, the caps and everything in the cases. It takes me a couple hours to build one. That's $35 an hour. Okay? The two of them in four hours. Uh, $35 an hour for a machine shop where I am, and that's not even taken out for material, you know. So it's quite a bit less than $35, <laughs> probably less than $30. For a machine shop environment, that's, that's not. I try to make $100 an hour in a machine shop, and this is $30, so. Uh, wouldn't get rich. The only reason why I make them is I have a lot of time, and, you know, they're kind of neat to build and stuff. Keep my hand in the game of the of the wick stuff. Uh, I make obviously the bulk of my income off of the soda can stoves and all the accessories, windscreens, pot stands, pots, stuff like that. This is not where the money comes from. So when somebody <laughs> somebody decides to rip me off and and start stealing my designs and swear they're their own, not that that's ever happened, but if it ever does. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> the first thing they're going to go for, the first thing I always go for is, oh, I'm going to take his premier stove, the most expensive one, I'm going to build that, cookies and milk, I'll make all the money off that, he can build the, the low-end stuff, the soda can stuff, but I'm going to make money, I'll undercut him on the price, and I'll start selling these, and I'll make money, because if I undercut him on the price, and they're the same quality, you know, I'm going to sell a million of them, make all kinds of money. Problem is, uh, there's no profit in this. So if you start making these and selling them, you'll find out, no, no money here. Uh, went for the wrong item. Uh, they're very difficult to build. If you don't believe it, just start building them. Say, wow, I'll just go out and see and see them and make a hundred or a thousand of them. That'll really drop the price. Yeah, it will. Uh, the demand right now for these is about 10 a year, so knock yourself out if you've got 100 of them. I wouldn't want to have 100 of them uh, because there's just no demand for them. It's a very, very small ultralight backpacker market, and even then, very most people just go with a soda can stove, 
simple, easy to use. They don't want to get this complicated. Very, very small market for them. I sell four of these a month, maybe, maybe, probably closer to two a month average. So, you know, between being expensive, uh, taking a long time to build them, no demand for them, no profit margin, no. It's just something I do to do. Probably shouldn't build them, but I get a kick out of it. And, and I, it's, I do want to keep my finger in the uh, workout call stove. Um, they have it. I've uh, been for a walk this morning, uh, played with the cats, and then I spent four hours out here building stoves. That's pretty much my day. It's like a 90 degree day, 90% uh, humidity, not fit to be outside. I went for a walk like 5.30 this morning uh, before it got hot, but it was crazy humid. And that brings out all the horse flies and the deer flies and they're buzzing around you all the time. It's like being in Africa. <laughs> okay, I got to get uh, back to work and build the cases for these. I'm Tindy from Mini Bowl Design. Try to have a really great day and try to have some fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye. Hey, Samantha. How's it going, huh?